Without him, Voldemort would have accomplished nothing. Why did Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter become a traitor, and what happened to him? Details that didn't make it into the film, the story of the saga's most pitiful villain. Perhaps the most repulsive character in Harry Potter can be considered the wizard Peter Pettigrew. Unlike other villains who had controversial reasons for turning to the dark side, Peter, initially on the good side, betrayed all his friends and caused them numerous troubles. How he came to this, why he turned away from his friends, and what happened to him next, which by the way is not mentioned in the movies but is described in the books, will be discussed in this article. Revelio, the origin and early years of Peter Pettigrew. Unfortunately, J.K. Rowling has told us almost nothing about this character's family, only that he had a living witch mother. Like many children with a knack for magic, he attended Hogwarts. Peter was sorted into Gryffindor, and to this day, it's unclear why this happened. Gryffindor is the house of the brave and strong wizards, and Pettigrew possessed neither of these qualities. He was weak, both in terms of talent and character. From childhood, Peter needed stronger protectors, so from his first years of study, he attached himself to more talented and confident guys, James Potter, Sirius Black, and Remus Lupin. Together, this group called themselves the Marauders. James and Sirius were always pulling pranks, making fun of other kids, and getting into trouble. While Remus occasionally tried to stop his friends gently, Peter only admired them, flattered, and caught on to any idea they had. James treated Peter calmly, but Sirius obviously despised him and often mocked him, even though they were friends. Pettigrew, in response, only smiled and laughed even at the most hurtful jokes. But inside, he probably harbored resentments. The first and second betrayals of Peter Pettigrew. Soon after the friends graduated, the war with Voldemort began. The former marauders actively fought against the Dark Lord, and Peter was on their side for a while. But as I said earlier, he always had a penchant for a strong patron. And who could be stronger than the Dark Lord? Peter Pettigrew secretly switched sides to Voldemort, choosing the strongest master for himself. But there surely was another reason. He had harbored a grudge against James and Sirius since school. He was very envious of the former, and the latter openly mocked and despised him. Eventually, he managed to take revenge on both. To gain the Dark Lord's trust, Peter gave him his former friends, James and Lily Potter, the Dark Lord feared a prophecy about a child who could destroy him. The Potter baby fit the prophecy, and Voldemort did everything to get him. James, Sirius, Lily, and Peter used the Fidelius charm, which hid the Potter family from everyone. Only the keeper of this charm could reveal it, and they appointed Peter Pettigrew. Because of his betrayal, the Dark Lord killed Harry's parents and left the baby with a lightning bolt scar on his forehead for life. Sirius Black immediately realized that it was Pettigrew who had betrayed them and found his former friend. They met in the middle of a street, and Peter quickly assessed the situation. He started screaming that the traitor was Sirius himself, then caused an explosion to fake his own death. As a result of the explosion, more than ten muggles died, and Sirius was captured and imprisoned in Azkaban, now considered a traitor. Pettigrew turned into a rat and disappeared. Return with Voldemort. For twelve years, Peter stayed in the form of a rat, hiding from everyone. As a pet, he ended up with Percy Weasley, and from him to Ron Weasley. And so, he would have lived the rest of his life, if not for a publication in the newspaper. Ron Weasley won a newspaper prize, and his photo with the rat was published on its pages. The newspaper somehow reached Azkaban, where Sirius Black saw it and immediately recognized his old friend. He realized Peter was alive and decided to avenge him. Eventually, Sirius escaped from Azkaban, found Peter, and together with Remus Lupin, they exposed his secret. Only Harry Potter managed to stop them from taking revenge on Pettigrew, 
Miraculously, Pettigrew managed to escape, and he started looking for a strong patron again. From other rats, he learned that in Albania, there was a place where all animals that wandered into it disappeared. Peter immediately understood that most likely the Dark Lord was being resurrected there, and he went there. This turned out to be true, and Peter became his first servant after the resurrection. On the way there, he met the witch Bertha Jorkins, who worked at the Ministry of Magic. To ingratiate himself with his master, Peter lured her to him, and they and the Dark Lord captured Bertha. This was a stroke of luck, as Bertha revealed the secret. The most powerful Death Eater, Barty Crouch Jr., was not in Azkaban, but under House Arrest. Together, the Dark Lord and Peter Pettigrew freed him and sent him to Hogwarts to take the place of Alastair Moody and implement the plan for the Dark Lord's ultimate resurrection. By that time, Voldemort was confined to a small, formless and emaciated body. Their plan succeeded, and at the finale of the Triwizard Tournament, Peter Pettigrew conducted the resurrection ritual, giving, among other things, his own hand. The Dark Lord returned and summoned his loyal followers, the most powerful Death Eaters from all over the country. The weak and cowardly Peter was no longer needed, but in payment for his loyalty, he created a new hand for him, magical. What happened to Peter Pettigrew's life? After Bellatrix Lestrange, Antonin Dolohov, Lucius Malfoy, Fenrir Greyback and other strong wizards joined the Dark Lord, Peter was sidelined. He was given minor and humiliating tasks to guard someone, to spy on someone, to run back and forth, etc. He ended up in the Malfoy Manor, where he guarded the Dark Lord's prisoners. Soon, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley were also there. The boys attempted to escape, a fight ensued, and Peter initially managed to overpower Harry. But at the last moment he hesitated and did not kill him. Why did this happen? Because earlier Harry had prevented Sirius and Remus from dealing with Peter, and for the last time in his life... Something good stirred in Pettigrew's soul. But he still met a sad end. The new hand that Voldemort had previously created for him had its own will, and when he refrained from killing Harry, it perceived this as a betrayal of the Dark Lord. His own hand clutched Pettigrew's throat and he could not release it, parting with life. This, by the way, was not shown in the movie. There, he was simply stunned and then not shown anymore. So ended his inglorious story. What do you think of this character?